The year 1960 marked the birth of a new naval weapon, Polaris, the fleet ballistic missile. And its deployment at sea in a nuclear submarine of the United States Navy. By the end of the year 1961, Submarine Squadron 14 will have five FBM submarines manned and on station in the Atlantic Fleet. This is the story of the blue and gold crews of this deterrent in the deep, already on patrol. Answer to head two thirds. One hundred feet. One hundred feet. One hundred feet, sir. Right to zero nine zero. Right to zero nine zero. Steady on zero nine zero. Very well. Each of the one hundred men in the crew of an FBM submarine is a highly trained specialist. The twelve officers include experts in nuclear propulsion, ballistic missiles electronics, navigation, fire control, and other fields. Men with a technical and command experience to take this new underseas weapon on a 60-day patrol. These are the men who operate and maintain the submarine's complex equipment. In the navigation center, electronics technicians, intercommunication specialists, quartermasters, work on instruments that can fix the submarine's position accurately at any time. In the missile compartment, 16 Polaris missiles stand ready in vertical tubes. Torpedo men, guided missile men, and fire control technicians keep their missiles in constant readiness. Manning the nuclear propulsion system are machinist mates, electricians, auxiliary men, and engine men. Everyone's job is important. The radio man, the submarine's only contact with the outside world. The hospital corpsman, who works with the ship's medical officer to assure the health of the crew, isolated as much from the world above as travelers in outer space. The yeoman in the ship's office, at work on the hundreds of pages of reports that must be prepared and typed while the ship is on patrol. The storekeeper, who must keep track of 30,000 line items stowed on the submarine. And the tons of food needed to sustain the crew on the long patrol. Every nook and cranny is filled with stores or spare parts. Even common bricks must be taken along. These are used to weight garbage sacks, which are ejected into the sea outside. But little food is wasted on a fleet ballistic missile submarine. Cooks and commissary men prepare meals that have made the submarine famous in the fleet. Food cooked by experts and served in quantity and variety. Three square meals a day and an open ice box around the clock, a tradition that's important to the submariner. And you can be sure that the men make the most of it. The crew on patrol wears the new FBM uniform, Dacron coveralls that are easy to wear and easy to wash. Dungarees are put away until the patrol is over. The uniform washes and dries quickly. This is more than just a convenience. The use of Dacron material keeps the submarine's atmosphere from becoming laden with lint from the dryer. The atmosphere is constantly monitored and analyzed. Oxygen is actually extracted from the seawater outside. The health, alertness, and effectiveness of the crew is especially important. The nuclear submarine's capacity for long submerged endurance is so great that adequate preparations must be made to assure that human endurance can match it throughout a 60-day patrol. 
the FBM submarine spends little time in port, since each has two complete crews. While one crew is at sea on patrol, the other is working on the team trainer in New London, Connecticut. Reacquire the same star. Coming around. You should have a star now, Collins. I have a star. Ready? Stand by. Mark. Star two will be number 210. Coming around. Should have a star. I have a star. Stand by. Mark. Okay, let's get going. Some are on leave, while others are at home with their families. While time does not exactly fly aboard the submarine, to make 60 days pass quickly for the men on patrol. Watches, four on and eight off. Routine chores keep a man busy. But there's time to relax. Games are popular. So are books from the submarine's library. And the extension course from Harvard University that enables a man to get credit for study on patrol. Religious services are conducted by lay leaders. Filmed and taped sermons by the squadron chaplain and private meditation are a source of inspiration to these men. Special events do not go unnoticed. The commissary department has laid in enough culinary surprises to make every birthday or holiday something to look forward to. But never forgotten is the submarine's vital mission, preventing war, deterring aggression. OK, boys, this is San Francisco, Battle Stations Missile. Man, Battle Stations Missile, Man, Battle Stations Missile. Supervisor, prepare to fire. Firing order one. Erection is completed on firing order one. No condition one SQ is set. Weapons launcher, the muzzle hatch is coming open. Muzzle hatch is locked open. Tube is an automatic breathe. Commence firing, aye. One minute standby. Optical trolley, shift to remote control. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire. Missile away, missile away. Firing test completed. For the blue and gold crews of the FBM submarine, this must always remain a training exercise for it is the unique mission of the Fleet Ballistic Missile Weapon System, always to be ready, never to be used. Submarine, missiles, and men, on guard at the sea frontiers of the free world, a powerful force for preserving world peace.